Here's a look at the uh, the inside now with additions and mostly subtractions. Um, as you can see, the cabinet that was right over there is gone. The white cabinet that was back there is gone. Um, condensed a lot of things down to fit into those six milk crates uh, with the one crate on top that has my food and dishes and stuff. Um, the hammock is still in the corner and uh, the skateboards. If I keep condensing everything down in here, those will always be here. Um, those are definitely not going anywhere. But I also took my emergency bucket or whatever that was a five gallon, made it a three gallon so it fits in there. Um, got the heater in the middle, the power supply over there which has been working out great. That 12 volt cable plugs into a 12 volt outlet back here in the back so that it will charge while I'm driving if I plug it in. Um, new lighting situation. Instead of having all these lights that require batteries all the time, I got this. Oh, put it in the right way, maybe. I got this situation going. To where I got this rope light that goes all the way around and it lights everything up in here really well. The downside is is that it does use a substantial amount of power to where I do have to charge this thing almost every day at some point. Or if I'm not driving anywhere, I can charge it, you know, through a landline. But um, I do usually plug it in if I'm going to run somewhere or anything, just so I can get a little bit more power back. But um, totally worth it though. It lights everything up in here great. And I don't really have them on all that much because I'm not in here all that much. Um, surprise, surprise, there's not a whole lot of shit to do in here. So, uh, yeah, I put them on in the morning when I'm getting dressed and stuff like that. And I throw them on when I'm eating and whatever. But I don't ever really ever leave them on. If I'm going to read a book or something, I usually throw those two guys on there. And that works. But, uh,. Yeah, I reduced a lot of things down. This whole crate here is just all my uh, toiletry stuff, disposables in that arena. Um, that is all my clothes right there, and that's all of them because I just did laundry, and they're all clean besides the ones I'm wearing. And uh, so I reduced them down to that, and I still think I might have a few too many, but we'll see. Um, that one has like uh, tools and batteries and cables and stuff like that, just random. It's mostly empty in my frisbees. Um, and I already said that's my uh, emergency toilet that I reduced from a five gallon bucket to a three gallon bucket, heater, fan, and uh, the power supply obviously. And then over here I have, back in this corner, can't really see, but it's a sleep, there's a sleeping bag and my backpack. So the sleeping bag is for when it's cold, but as you can see, 
it has warmed up here in Cincinnati over the last week, and uh, I don't really need it anymore. Um, but I'll keep it, obviously. Uh, the backpack is awesome because I can take almost everything in these top three crates, most everything, and I can get it into that backpack. So if need be, I can just pick up and go. And my hammock, it reduces down to like seven ounces in a little seven ounce bag, so that's great too. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. And uh, it does look sparse, but it feels great, honestly, to know that I'm not lugging around a bunch of, just a bunch of stuff that doesn't get used or stuff that I have a chance to misplace and not find it and you know this just is it's easier for me it's definitely not something that everybody can do but part of this experiment for me was I didn't want to recreate my apartment inside a van I didn't want to just take the exact same type of situation that I lived in and just make it smaller um, I wanted something different I wanted to experience uh, something different even if it was out of my comfort zone a lot so. of uh, a lot of other people who you know, kind of, they have a really cool setup, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing what they can do with a van, but it's almost so comfortable to the point where it's like, you want to stay in it, or you want to, you know, it's almost the same as just taking your cool apartment or house and, and crushing it down into a van size, and I don't, I don't know if that changes your, your experience all that much, aside of, you know, being able to drive it somewhere else if you wanted, it's it's almost the same day-to-day -day experience. Especially if you're in this, if you're just going to stay in the same city, you're kind of you kind of just move from one bigger apartment into a smaller apartment. But you brought your all your comforts, you know, your TVs and your video games and and all the stuff that kept all the stuff that kept me in my apartment is the stuff that I wanted to get out of the van. So. All in all, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty pumped with the new setup. So uh, that's all for this one. Even though I'm sure you guys are tired of, there's nothing to look at, and yet I've been filming the same, <laughs> the same scene here for, for five minutes. Oh well. All right, guys. Later.